everybody. This is very uh, short presentation about uh, tech, one of the techniques uh, to give surfactant, which is called um, um, uh, mist or minimal invasive surfactant therapy, or some people call it uh, non-invasive uh, surfactant therapy. And there are two types. The first type is by tracheal catheterization, and the second type by non-tracheal catheterization. So, and there are many types. Uh, the types that we use, uh, because uh, we use the large volume surfactant, and there are either four mil like Sorvanta or um, or five mil, which we call it Bless in Canada. Uh, we use this type of uh, of, of uh, minimal invasive surfactant therapy. So today I'm going to talk about technique that we use, and it's our technique uh, of a study that we have done uh, called ECALMIST, which is a short for early CPAP and minimal invasive surfactant therapy. So I'm going to share my screen uh, to talk about this technique. So as you can see here, um, Uh, you can see that the uh, doctor is holding the uh, uh, laryngoscope and uh, using the uh, vascular catheter to uh, cannulate the trachea. Uh, the vascular catheter is a 17 uh, uh, size fringe, and uh, the doctor is trying to um, uh, to um, uh, cannulate the trachea with it. So I'm going to move the uh, the video. So he's putting and he's starting to insert the uh, catheter and then taking laryngoscope out at the same time, monitoring the vital sign and then the assistant connecting uh, the uh, uh, syringe, uh, the hub of the syringe with the, uh, with the catheter and giving a small dose of, of surfactant or BLESS, which is five mil per kg, a large volume. And then after injecting a small amount, the doctor going to disconnect the syringe from the catheter, and then observing the surfactant moving up and down in the column of the catheter uh, as an indication of correct catheterization of the trachea because the column will move in and out with ventilation. And sometimes the surfactant comes back to you as here. Yeah, here the surfactant comes back to you. So the baby is, is breathing through the tube and the tube is correctly placed in the trachea. At the same time, when the catheter in the trachea, you'll see changes in the vital signs, which is the uh, saturation and the heart rate, because if you are in the esophagus, that will not affect the vital sign much, but when you cut right in the trachea, it will affect the baseline vital sign. Then the doctor reconnect the syringe and will inject the surfactant in small doses about 0.5 mil each time and giving a break between each time like by 10 seconds until he finishes all the uh, uh, surfactant and then disconnect the syringe and taking some air and flush catheter with air to take the extra uh, to push the extra amount of surfactant inside. So in short, this is a giving a bless by minimal invasive through catheterization of the trachea with the uh, vascular catheter at the same time maintaining CPAP and uh, maintaining CPAP, uh, this will help uh, to driven the surfactant by many ways the first is baby is spontaneously breathing and when you are spontaneously breathing you are trying to open closed alveoli and therefore you'll suck the surfactant to the closed alveoli while when using uh, the ETT and you are bagging the patient so you will force the surfactant and when you force it it will go to open alveoli, where you want it to go to closed alveoli. So it's better to give surfactant in a spontaneously breathing baby than giving uh, ventilation through uh, positive pressure ventilation. The second, we are giving it slow, so it will go by service diffusion, and therefore uh, spontaneous breathing, sucking uh, surfactant and service diffusion will distribute the surfactant evenly through the lung at the same time uh, at the same time, uh, the, the patient is, is, uh, will not go to the, you know, or go less to the open alveoli than the uh, usual uh, uh, intubation and PP, and PBV uh, during ventilation, which will force the surfactant and goes to the uh, open alveoli and will cause uneven distribution of surfactant. So that's the end of the, uh, the, the video that I explained the technique called ECALMIST, which is 
um, early CPAM and large volume minimal invasive surfactant therapy. Thank you very much.